Hey, what's up everyone? Mark Price here with DevSlopes.com and today we're going to build our very first Objective-C application. So let's dive on in and get started. Go ahead and open up your Xcode. We're going to create a new Xcode project. And we'll just do a single view application for iOS, as you can see right here. Click Next. Make sure that the language selected is Objective-C and we're going to call this project name Hello OBJC. Okay. And that looks good to me. Click Next and just save it wherever you want. Save mine on the desktop. Okay, so all is normal. If you're familiar with iOS development, this is all common stuff. Let's go ahead and click ViewController.m. I'm going to expand this and make this larger for you. And I'll make the screen larger as well. Okay, we're in ViewController.m. We've got ViewController.h. Of course, Objective-C has header files and implementation files, unlike Swift, which only has a single file. And so what we're going to do is create a button that makes an alert pop up. We're, we're going to do it all in Objective-C. So let's go ahead and click main.storyboard. And I'm going to go to the bottom right and type in but for button. I'm going to put it here in the middle. Let's make it larger drag it around, and we'll give it a cool name, uh, like clickbait, you know, like those articles. I can't believe she did this. And then you click it and it's like 50 pages of junk before you actually get to see what she actually did. And then it was really stupid. So um, we should make an app like that sometime. All right, so we got the button there. Let's go ahead and click the uh, pin button here and we're going to give it a fixed width, fixed height, and the alignment menu button here. We're gonna go to vertically in center and horizontally in center. And we're going to add two constraints just so it's there in the center of the screen. All right, now let's go ahead and click the assistant editor, double circles over here on the right hand side. And what I want you to do is control drag from the button over to your code here. And this would be viewcontroller.m. We're going to put it under did receive memory warning. And connection is an action. And let's just call this uh, clickbait. And there is our IB action. This ties our button to the code so it can receive the event. And let's close the assistant editor and let's select viewcontroller.m. So here it is, click bait. Let's go ahead and make that pop up. So of course, in iOS, you no longer use UI alert view, you use the UI alert controller because it can do multiple things now. We're going to call this alert. Don't forget the asterisk before the alert. And we're going to say UI alert controller. Okay. We're going to say alert controller with title and we're going to say welcome and the message and by the way i'm pressing tab to go to these different function parameters message is welcome to the world of objective c and preferred style what i like to do is look at what it says there and then just type in so ui alert controller style we want to do alert we want it to be an alert style Okay, so we've created the object, but we're, we haven't set any actions on it, the buttons that are going to be on it, and we haven't uh, shown it to the user yet, but we have created it. And of course, uh, this is an initializer function. It's a, it's a static function. You'll learn, you'll learn more about this later on. And let's go ahead and set an action on this alert. So we've got to create the action first. So UI alert action, like there. And let's just call this close action equals UI alert action and let's say action with title and we're going to say close and the style is UI alert action style cancel. We want it to be like a cancel button. It's not going to have a handler here. So we're going to put nil because we just want it to close the prompt. So there's our action. Now we've got to add the action to the alert itself. So alert add action. Just do what I'm doing here. Okay. This crazy square braces and everything else, add action, and we're going to say close action. And then lastly, now that the action's been added, we just need to show that alert to the user. So self.presentViewController, and we're going to present the alert. Animated, yes. Completion, we don't care what happens after it's done completing. Save that and go ahead and select a simulator. Let's just do iPhone 6 for fun and build and run, and let's see what happens. Okay, and here's our application on the simulator. Click bait. If I click the bait, welcome. Welcome to the world of Objective-C and close. So there's our application. It is working. You have done some Objective-C. A few things that you have touched upon is 
the .m file, which is an implementation file of our view controller. We created an IB action. We created an alert controller and presented it to the user, which is purely iOS. You can, of course, do that in Swift as well. But the specific Objective-C things you did were like creating this initializer here or allocating this alert and uh, putting a title and things in it and then um, uh, calling some functions here. And so we're going to go more into all of this later on, but that's it. Have fun with your very first application. Go ahead and build one of your own. Mark Price at DevSlopes.com signing out. And remember to get your free live help, go to DevSlopes.com and click on the chat room. We have thousands of students in there helping each other out. Also click on the forums. This is where you can search for answers to your code problems and you can also post your own issues. So head on over now.